But you worked with so many people from Hogan to Grill Monsoon, Bobby Heenan, you know, Mr. Perfect, Lindo the Man, Jake the Snake. But who was the easiest to work with and who was the hardest to work with? And why was that the Ultimate Warrior? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, you know, uh, God, there were so many. I mean, I got along with uh, pretty much everybody. There was, you know, I had my favorites, you know, Jim or Hacksaw was, you know, the King guy's a comedian. Right there. Yeah, he's like a professional comedian. He was so funny then. Uh, then he was he was around a lot, but you know, like Hillbilly Jim, they you know because he wasn't wrestling that much at the time, so he was kind of an ambassador. Uh, Freddie Blassie was another one of my great mentors at the time. He lived not far; he lived in uh, near Scarsdale there, and so he was up all the time. And he was kind of an ambassador. You know, he was one of these guys that was in for life, and Vince took care of him, and he would go to all these charity events, and I would go with with Freddie. We, yeah, it, it was that that is a book uh, on its own. I should write a book, you know, you and classy Freddie hanging, hanging with out? Freddie. Oh, yeah, <laughs> because we'd go to golf tournaments and Freddie, of course, couldn't play because every part of his body was fused. But he would ride in the cart with me, you know, and uh, just harass people. And uh, he would hey, you know, at these game. golf tournaments. Yeah, you know, these golf tournaments, they would, you know, longest drive closest to the pin. Well, Freddie would uh, do things like where he would move the longest drive and he put my name on it you know he would do stuff like that so at the end of the tournament they'd be announcing and then you know oh longest drive sean mooney on something <laughs> <laughs> i'd be like me jesus freddie you know and they'd be like <laughs> i'd win a golf bag and like have to give it back you know like oh this is awesome <laughs> but, you know, but or, sorry yeah that's but amazing. yeah he would do yeah and it was just you know that's just kind of the way it was anyway getting back to your your question there um I loved working with Kurt Hennig. Kurt was one of my favorite people. Um, you know, surprisingly, people always a little surprised. Like, you know, like Randy, Randy Savage was another guy that I really, uh, you know, had a great relationship with. It took a long time. And there's a story behind that, too. But once, you know, once you were in with him and uh, he trusted you, you know, whatever <laughs> that meant. But uh, he was awesome. And I respected him so much because of the way he worked. You know, people could say what they want about, you know, how he controlled things or what, but he was a, you know, incredible businessman. And, and he, you know, he was tight with money. Like people was talking about, you know, he saved his money, but he also knew you got to spend it to, for his popularity to, for his character. And he would spend, you know, thousands of dollars on those outfits and he'd have three or four a night. And uh, I remember times where he would go out there where I would just be amazed that he even showed up. Uh, the time he had, the, you know, he had a really bad staff infection in his elbow. And he went out there and worked yeah, Russell, his ass off. And I remember asking, yeah, I remember asking, you know, uh, one time, how, how do you, do, you know, how do you do this? You know, and he's like, you know, brother, you know, people going out there to spend their money every night. You know, I got to give them what they pay, you know, what they paid for. I mean, that's how he looked at it. And that kind of came from his roots, you know, where, you know, his family and and uh, playing the arenas where there's, you could probably not even call it an arena, but you know, 200 people, maybe less 50 yeah. and all the way up. And a lot of guys were like that. 